So I just realized after I started playing this game that I've been on the YouTube streets for a while. Played Black Ops 2 last year. The year before that I played Modern Warfare 3. And then my channel was started on Modern Warfare 2 videos, so... Here we are, another campaign, another year. Uh, giving away three copies of this game. Any system preference, just leave a comment below. You can leave as many comments as you want, you can spam it, doesn't matter. But about a week after this video is up, I'll select some winners. And uh, we were able to hit 30,000 likes on Black Ops 2 last year. I'm actually kind of curious if we can break that this year, so let's do this! It was a different time, a different enemy. 60 men from Tier 1 teams were sent to face down a force of 500 enemy fighters. Their objective? To force the enemy back from a civilian hospital and keep its occupants alive. For three days they held their ground. But the enemy's numbers were too great. The 60 were cut down to 15. They wouldn't last another night, and the enemy knew it. Under the cover of darkness, they evacuated the hospital, sending only one of their own to lead the way. The rest returned to the line and took up positions beneath the bodies of their fallen brothers. As they lay in wait, the blood from the dead poured over them. The sand stuck to their skin like a shroud, changing them, anointing them. When the enemy drew near, the remaining 14 rose out of the desert sand. They were like hunters that couldn't be seen, using stealth their enemies couldn't defend against. When the men ran dry of ammunition, they used their blades. And when the blades ran dull, they used their hands. When the dust and sand had settled, only one of the enemy had survived. He was picked up in the desert, wandering aimlessly, traumatized. He expressed warnings to others of a force so menacing and unbeatable, it could only be described as supernatural. He called them ghosts. And this really happened. So the legend goes. Come on, Dad. You don't honestly believe that story's true. Yeah, I do. Come on, let's head back to the house. Let's go. Shake a leg. All right, guys. Welcome to Call of Duty Ghosts. I'm going to be showing you the entire first mission in this video. Oh. What the fuck? Those things used to freak the hell out of your mother. So, yeah, a little bit of information. I'm playing on Xbox 360. I play inverted tactical layouts. That's why I've been playing Call of Duty for a long time. So I'm actually curious what kind of layout you guys use. And if you use inverted or not, because that's probably weird to a lot of people. Dad, let's just get to the house. Make sure nothing time to go. Damaged. So I just got off the Battlefield 4 uh, campaign, so I'm kind of comparing it to this. Just to see how, how, how they kind of stack happening. together. I'm not really biased towards either. It's over. To the house, boys, now! Oh shit! What is, it almost looks like a zombie outbreak. Careful. Jesus! It's not an earthquake. What are you talking about? You boys get to the house and stay there. I'm going for the truck. But Dad, just do it, sir. Come on, Logan. What the hell is going on? Tom Cruise is somewhere driving a minivan. This way, Logan. Climb over. Oh shit. Get inside. What the hell is that talking about? What's Odin? Come on. This place isn't going to take much more of that. We're not going to die here. Come on. Jam! Okay! Three, 
Jordan Control, the orbital weapons got a successful test fire ping. Roger, Mosley. Tracking weapon, drive fire signal. Hey, Baker, here's our ride. Let's head in. Payload, this is Odin Control. Ready to receive. Odin Control, we're heading back to debrief the new crew. Roger. We're prepping airlock C. Shuttle is in final docking sequence. Payload, 10 meters. So I must say, this is quite the transition that I was not expecting. Five meters, payload. Two meters. Zero your rotation delta payload. Mosley, airlock C is ready for arrival. Capturing. Talk back as barber pole. Begin retract. Copy, payload. Pressurizing airlock. Oh, I'm really looking forward to going home. What's it been? Three months? I remember seeing the like the commercial for this game, and I remember seeing them in space, but I had no idea when it tied together, so... This explains a little bit. Has anybody seen that movie, Moon, with Sam Rockwell? Hey, Baker, give me a hand with the unload. This is as fast as I can go. Oh, shit! Are you fucking kidding? Come on, Mosley, hurry up! We need to move it! Dad, order control, we are taking fire! This is. This is fucking nuts! Jesus! Look out! Oh shit! Shut up! Oh, I finally got him. Barely. Odin Control. Odin's kinetic rods are readying for launch. This is not a simulation. We can't let them take control of Odin. Odin Control! Federation forces are now crew launchable! Look at the ammo clip after you reload. You see that? It's so Peter, sick. There's more of them! Bitch! Odin payload one uploading. Targeting Los Angeles. Locked. Oh, they got the MTAR. Holy shit. Locked. Phoenix. Locked. Targeting Houston. Locked. Targeting Miami. Locked. Estimated casualties. Over 27 million. They're uploading more targets to payloads 2, 3, and 4. Houston, what do we do? Odin Control. We have no choice. We're scuttling the station. I'm sorry, Mosley. Baker, we need to move! Initiating in 10 seconds. All crew, get to a secure area. Station Storage destination. Is in me. three, two, one. So you can kind of float faster by running, but not until later. Jesus! Holy shit. Odin Control. Odin Control, are you copying? It's, it's mostly... Baker and I are still here. Holy shit. Copy, Mosley. Odin targeting on payloads 3 and 4 have been aborted. But payload 2 is still sequencing. Targeting locked. San Francisco, Denver, Kansas City, Chicago, Washington, D.C. We're not that Baker. Let's move to Odin and bring it down. I don't think we're making it home, Baker. Atlas main, how many degrees off access to destabilize it? 23 degrees port or aft, but remote RCS systems are not responding. 23 degrees. I'll dump that tub in the ocean. Looks like we're supposed to land on this, but I'm not 100% sure. How do I get this open? Hey, cut this off, Houston. Ignite those RCS fuel lines. You heard him, Baker. Fire! We are just wreaking havoc.
keep shooting. 15 degrees. Gonna grab her. 23 degrees. That's it. That's enough She's to dead. Into the atmosphere. That's fucked up. Specialist Mosley. Kira. We have LOS with the crew of Odin Control. Repeat. Loss of signal with Odin Control. That's where that came from. Okay. Come on. What? Dad said he was going for the truck. We have to find him. Get across, quick! Oh shit! Keep running. We can get through this. Through that house. This has got to be one of the most badass openings for a game I think I've ever played. We got a job. Oh shit! Was that supposed to happen? Right up there, you have to get him off ground. Man, this dude's just Mr. Survival Man, isn't he? Jesus, he knows exactly where to go. The Federation's rise to power had started years ago. When the great energy-producing deserts were destroyed, the world powers that depended on them collapsed, and in their wake, the Federation began to rise. The Federation united all of South America under one banner, and devoured everything in its path as it moved relentlessly to the north. After turning Odin against us, the Federation stood on the doorstep of America, poised for the kill. They thought we were weak, crippled, prey, waiting to be taken. We fought hard. We fought well. We fought them to a bloody stalemate. And here, just beyond the craters of no man's land, we find ourselves in a defensive war against a more powerful enemy. Viking 6, you there? Hesh. Logan. Uh, copy. Yeah, we're here. Go ahead. Reports are coming in. Dallas got overrun last night. Command wants another sweep of the wall ASAP. Oh, shit. Any survivors? Negative. Sorry I didn't wake you. Thought you could use a sleep. Listen. Hey, Riley's 
got something. Grab your gear, let's move. I'm just excited, uh, Team so I was able to show you the first little introduction of this game. I guess it's like a prologue. And then I'm going to show you most of this mission if I can in one video. Look at him. He's a straight beast. What is that, a German Shepherd? I can't tell. What's he looking at? Anything? Oh yeah, I was gonna ask you guys when you found my YouTube channel. Whether it's this video or any other series I've done over the past three and a half years. I've been doing YouTube videos. It's clear. Come on up. They always have a really just overwhelming like sense of just the end of the world's happening. Since World of War, they've been unleashing the dogs. Holy fuck. <laughs> that scared the shit out of me. Those were some big deer. Let's head back and get you some real food. So I'm going to do my best to not really talk every time they're doing, like, in-game dialogue. But it's going to be tough. We're moving up to RV Silver, Gavi. Yeah, we'll join you. Meet us at the wall. We're on our way out. Rush. She is. He is having the time of his life. Look at him go. Yo, Sergeant. Your area secure? Just about. You need to sweep this side of the wall and we're good. We'll take the left side. Should go quick. Regroup at the gas station. You got it. Hey, yeah, if you guys want me to spam these videos, I was gonna do the entire campaign for you. It's really just a matter of how quickly you guys want the videos. Get ready. Come on. Search. You hear that? Someone's out there. Wait for Riley. If he attacks a target, shoot to kill. Get him, Riley! Man, somebody better not shoot this damn dog. All them kneecaps, baby. I'm not really a fan of this gun they gave me. I never liked the ACOG scope in the Call of Duty games. I've been playing since Call of Duty 2, so... Does anybody else remind of I Am Legend? Just, just a little bit. Okay, looks like we got one. One guy, second guy right there. Oh, they're fucking shooting the hostages already. Son of a bitch. It's, it kind of looks like the Call of Duty 4 campaign, where it's like the first or second level where you can save the people, but... Or that you can save that one guy, but it's very hard to do, you know? That's probably an achievement to save those people. Come on, take it easy. Oh shit, almost. <laughs> Please tell me those gas prices aren't $54, because that's kind of scary. Oh shit, helicopters. Time to roll, baby. Look at all, there's so many people there, Jesus. So it's, it's funny, my actual YouTube channel started when I made Modern Warfare 2 videos. I'd try to get like a nuke, and I'd go back over and talk about like, my social life and shit. <laughs> Some, something really weird. Some, somehow I'm, I'm here now with a bunch of subscribers and shit. I never saw it coming. So thank you if you're a part of that. I played Black Ops 2 last year. And then but the year before that I played Modern Warfare 3, which actually the first part of that is my most viewed video. 
which is kind of strange. I like this gun, but I really need something else. What was this? Nice little red dot sight. I changed it out too quick. Something else got picked up. Oh, move out of the way. I'm trying to help you out. Is this the ACR? It's not the ACR. It can't be. It's so accurate, though, with the iron sights. <laughs> Look at this guy. No, you don't, bitch. Riley, get out there and do your business. Oh, man, I fucking love this gun. Look at this guy. He's trying. Shit. Guy rockets. Look at this thing. Easy boy, easy. Riley, go. He's right there, right there. Are having a little bit of issues taking out this stupid uh, chopper. There we go. That should do it. Unless they're gonna come crashing in right here. Be the typical thing to happen, right? Really? Two it didn't take it down unless they hit the bomb tree right there. There we go. I was about to really be like, please don't be a cliche and crash onto us. Clear! We're clear! Oh shit. Corporal Davis, you're on transport. Lawson, commandeering for transport. Logan, you're on security in the back. Huh? Huh? Come on, we gotta keep moving. These things look like giant remote-controlled vehicles with a big antenna like that. <laughs> Look at Riley just hanging out. He's like on one of those little like candidate vehicles. Where they say like vote for so and so with the intercoms. Charlie Company, load up! They need reinforcements at the wall! Let's go! This is us, Sergeant. Let's go find the old man. Dad. All bobs along the wall. Zip I heard about the attack. You boys okay? Always. Walk with me. Dad, they're executing civilians. I know. Their recon teams round up scavengers, drifters, hoping to find a way into the city. It's how they took Dallas practically overnight. So how can we help? Dad. Listen, you boys. You're the only thing I've got left in this world. Dad, listen. But you're also the only ones I can trust. Hey, look. Whatever it is, Logan and I... We're ready. 
You two are going to no man's land. Wait, for real? We've been on the defensive for far too long. So I'm sending you outside the wall. You'll link up with a recon team, gather any intel you can on the enemy, and get your asses back here. So where in no man's land are we going? Somewhere you know better than anyone. You're going home.